Hey guys, welcome back to Gungnir. Gungnir? This is Opeb. And I'm gonna move on to the next part. Next battle, I should say. Your cooperation is appreciated. Your help is what allowed us to prepare as much as we did. Please, don't thank me. I don't have the strength to fight alongside the people of the Esperanza. But I will help you in any other way that I can. The Leonikins of Espada are not alone. In their struggle against the tyranny of Emperor Wolfgang III. What? The time has come for the heart of the revolution to start beating. Ragnus, we should return to Espada soon. Harold, could you spare us some food? At the very least, I'd like everyone to not be hungry before the battle. Of course, that's no problem. Would you like to taste some fire whiskey as well? Why, thank you! It's finally time! Right. My father's will, huh? Is a storm coming? Hmm. It didn't look like it earlier. Hopefully this isn't a bad omen. I don't like this storm. The stalwart fighters in Esperanza trained for over a month. Even without the watchful eye of their leader, Ragnus Ragwell, the soldiers drilled diligently. They followed their training regimen to the letter. This was how fervently their desire to bring freedom and peace to the people of Espada burned. Julio and the others had been tasked with surveilling Alyssa. However, Alyssa never did anything suspicious. She pitched in at Fiona's tavern and won over the people. Year 983 of the Imperial Calendar. It is the tenth day of the month of Asgard. The soft sunlight bathes the slums as the laughter of the people fills the air. Scene 3, the inscribed mark, a hero is no braver than an ordinary man. The Esperanza team has 13 victories, and the Imperial Army only 9. I think this battle's been decided, eh, Julio? Why are you so hung up on this? We're not trainees, mock battles don't mean much to us. When I joined Esperanza, I was told to always work towards victory. Victory in everything, every time, you remember? Yeah, I remember, but... You two are really good. I'm surprised. You're almost the same age as me, but you're teaching so many people. <laughs> it's no big deal. I joined Esperanza three years ago. Julio was born in Esperanza. How? My father was Esperanza's first leader. I hear he was well respected by everyone. He was noble, brave, and kind. Ricardo, the noble hero. Ricardo, savior of Espada. He's like a god to us. You'd better remember that since you're going to be one of us. Wait, what? Oh, you haven't heard? Since you came here, Alyssa, the general mood of Esperanza has changed. It's difficult to explain. I don't know how to put it. But everyone can feel it. But being a Dalton doesn't mean you can't stay in Espada. I mean, really, there are tons of people with unknown backgrounds living here. And more to the point, Julio's not gonna let you go. You can't fight love, am I right? Look who's talking. You're the one most determined to keep her here. Love? And you, don't take everything he says so seriously. But... But I've been nothing but a nuisance to you all. You burned a pond, broke a few dishes, oh, blue hoo-hoo.
We don't care about that. We know you're doing your best. We want you to stay with us. That's why we're asking you to join us. Or are we a nuisance to you? Of course not. But I... Oh, come on. Get out this butt and sew stuff. It's so annoying. Don't worry. You're going to do fine. Julia will talk to the boss and put his heart and soul into it. So... So, you're one of us as of today. Are you alright with that? This is bad. The Gate of Lament has been closed. The Imperial Army is on its way. Lord Pierre, what happened to that girl? There is no cause for concern. We're deploying a search party to that dung heap now. If what you've told me is true, they will find her in due time. I told you the truth. We were escorting the girl when they attacked us, and then they snatched her. Hmm, no matter. The truth will come out soon enough. But before that... How much do you know about the girl? Tell me everything. Yes, sir. All I know is that she's a daughter from one of the noble families. That's all? What else is there to know? Nothing to concern yourself with. Don't let me detain you. Lord Pierre, when you find the girl... I know. You just tend to your ballot sheet. Thank you, my lord. Escorting, eh? It's hard to imagine someone hired by him would make such a mistake. Perhaps it'd be simpler to dispose of him. You there. This is really bad. I can't believe they chose to attack while my brother was away. Shall we send for the boss? I'm afraid that's not going to work. More than a thousand Imperial troops are staged at the Gate of Lament. The weather will make escaping Espada by any other route difficult. The Espada slums are completely surrounded. Waiting for the boss won't do us any good, huh? Guess we'll have to make do on our own. Alyssa, what's wrong? Is something bothering you? Oh no, it's nothing. No worries, girl. If you're in danger, we'll protect you. Isn't that right, Julio? Yeah, of course. In any case, we never expected them to come all the way out here. Just what are they after, anyway? Just don't hurt me. Lord Pierre, I brought her. Hmm, good. Now. People of Espada, hear my words. I am Pierre, Governor of the East. By order of His Majesty Wolfgang III, I command victory on Stronghold. We are searching for a woman, a noble girl kidnapped recently by criminals who dwell in Espada. The sheer effrontery is outrageous. Know this, defying me means that you defy His Majesty. I would see this cesspit filled to the brim with your blood. But then again, I am not without mercy. I give you one hour for a life. Until the girl is brought to me, I will execute one dreg every hour. It will not bother me to kill every last one of you, but I give you a chance. Choose wisely and bring me the girl. Wait one hour and then kill this woman. Make her death as cruel and loud as possible, do you hear me? We will plant the seed of fear into the very hearts of these wretches. Yes, sir. No, no. Oh, why? Now, now. I wonder how those fools will react. This will be entertaining. Yeah, bastard. One life per hour, huh? I don't like this at all. Hey, calm down, everybody. Don't you dare go blasting out of here, okay? 
Don't forget, Ragnus isn't with us today. But we can't sit around and wait. What do we do? This girl they're looking for. It's me. Hey, wait. These aren't your friends, are they? Perhaps not. But I still have to go. I will not have others' blood be spilled for my sake. But you can shed your blood for someone else? We don't know if they mean to harm me. Please, don't worry about me. She's one of us. Farewell, everyone. Thank you all for your hospitality. It was such a short time, but I enjoyed it. No, Alyssa, wait! Noah, let her go. Julio! What's gotten into you? We were just talking about welcoming her into Esperanza. You even said you protect her. Did you forget that? But this is the best solution. Without my brother and Paulo, we're no match for the Imperial forces. He's right. Then we can protect her until Ragnus returns, right? And how many people will die before my brother comes back? And you can live with that, huh? Aren't we noble Esperanza? That's funny, coming from the guy who says nobility doesn't matter. Put yourself in his shoes, Noah. Julio has a duty to look after Esperanza while the boss is gone. If that's the case... Noah, wait! Hmm? What do you want? I'm the girl you're looking for. Now that I'm here, please release the hostages immediately. That's for Lord Pierre to decide. Come with me, please. Alexa! Noah? Why? We, we're Esperanza. We don't take orders from the Empire. I see. She was being held in that tavern. Tell the troops, kill that kid over there and then wipe out everyone in that tavern. If they go resist, you may use force. Just don't kill her. You really made a mess out of this, Noah. My brother's gonna give you hell for this. Yeah, something tells me he'll give me a Medal of Valor. I doubt that. Of course he won't. Nevertheless, this is something to worry about later. After we made it through this. Get ready. Yeah, this is the best option. Go, go. Yeah, let's just go then. How well can we do without my brother? This will be tough. I won't let them destroy Spada. It's time. Yeah, time to go. Our only objective is the girl. Kill everyone else. Damn dregs, I'll teach you some manners. We must fight as we defend Alyssa. This will be tough. Well, as long as she doesn't move, this should be fine. Oh wait, you have to break those, don't you? Why does it take so much to break? That might not even be worth it if it's that hard. <laughs>
Weasel. No, please don't move. Please don't move. Please don't move. pretty overpowered. And that guy, wow. <laughs> Crap, the one around me. <laughs> I'll retreat for now, but this isn't the end. What the hell, man? Oh my god. This is impossible. We can't lose to those dregs. And so an entire day passed in battle. Because that makes sense. Keep running. Oh, 
It's like they don't even care that I'm killing them really easy. Pew pew pew. Yes. Got stronger. Screw it. Rip in peace. <laughs> that salt you've got. Dead. It's not often I see the characters actually die when I play this. It's kind of annoying. But... Take everything. Or just the whip, okay. I guess that works. I can't, can't move up? It should do it. <laughs> Damn, Leonikins.
was weird. Not sure what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna waste time because I, I like treasure, so I wanna try getting these. I could have done a beat right there. Maybe do it next time. I got the last of the treasure, and I can actually finish this mission. <laughs> You're still alive. Wow. This last hit's gonna be serious overkill, then. KIA. Yep. But why? Ah, <laughs> uh, is everyone safe? Yeah. Rip Gargans. <laughs> Those Imperial Bozos were nothing. That is, they weren't as bad as we expected. Still, for a while I thought we were done for. This isn't the end, though. We need a plan, ASAP. For now, let's go back inside. If they find us again, we'll be in trouble. 
Hmm? What's going on here? I, I don't believe this. Our glorious Imperial Army has been defeated. Governor, those people... Hmm? Fiona, Alyssa, get inside. More of them. Let them come. We'll chop their heads off. Don't die on me, everyone. This is all my fault. You there. Call for my elite guards. My lord? With all due respect, calling in the elites for these washtols is... No matter. They need to have a taste of blood from time to time. I, I see, my lord. Right away. Now, dregs. You're the ones who defeated my soldiers, correct? Take a wild guess. Esparta is our town. That's what you Imperials said when you forced us to live here. You should stand by those words. <laughs> I've never heard such caterwauling. But you are no mere dreg scum. You do appear to have some skill. Hmm. I have heard talk of suspicious doings in my domain. This could lead to an uprising similar to the one 15 years ago. Perilous, perilous indeed. My ability to govern the area will be called into question. It seems what is required here is a thorough extermination. Whoa there. They brought some real power this time. So that's their main force. Defeat Pierre for victory. We can do this. We can take on the Imperial Army. Uh, it's gonna be rough. We can lose this fight. Yeah, it's time. Time to go. It's time someone put those drags back in their place. Don't hold back, guards. Kill everyone, whether or not they resist. Take no prisoners. We'll survive this no matter what. We're going to protect the spot. Can't avoid my blade. Well, I just did. Too bad. Damn. All those guys are basically another. They're all Julios. That's not good.
This is bad. That's it? Hmm, you tried hard for being such fools. Leave a disgusting taste in my mouth, though. You have been giving us some serious trouble for Dregs. But this is the end of the road for you. <laughs> Your expression is most amusing. Your eyes are filled with wrath, for you cannot yet accept your defeat. But I will soon see despair take the place of that rage. And then, any glimmer of life will fade away forever. Damn you! Ah, wonderful, truly wonderful. We have the girl, and this resistance is finished. His Majesty will be most happy. How can you call this wonderful... You cold-hearted monster. Just who do you think we are? You? Do we think of you at all? An interesting question. You should feel honored that you have attracted any attention at all. But yes, we do think of you as vermin to be removed from our sight. Wait. My, my, how nice of you to join us. I know that you're searching for me. I'll come quietly. But only if you let them go and leave at once. Such a beautiful voice. My resolve wavers before you, my dear. As a famous poet once said, the most beautiful thing in the world are its women. But... No! Death to the rebels. Those who defy His Majesty's rulings have no place in this world. Noah. Claude. Teresa. Excellent. Guards, you may finish off the last one. Julio. Noah. Claude. Teresa. Dad. Fiona. Ragnus. I killed three yesterday. Got five more today. How many lives have I ended? I kept track. Up until a hundred. My only friend as a child was my practice sword. My only pastime was training. Being an Esperanza was everything to me. I was only ten when I made my first kill. When I saw his blood spurting, I knew. I knew that I had taken a man's life. That was the only way we could live. There was no other choice. Because... Because my father was a hero. Because... Because I have people I care about. Because... Because everyone sees my father when they look at me. But, my dad was killed. He died in the Espada Massacre 15 years ago. And now, I'm 15 years old. Ragnus gave me approval when I killed more. The more I fought, the more I slaughtered. Little by little, I lost something inside me. I killed three yesterday. 
Got five more today. Six, seven, eight, nine. I stopped counting when I reached a hundred. Esperanza. Noble Esperanza. Ugh. Where am I? What what happened? So, are you the successor to Gunnar? Who are you? I am Elise. I am the heavenly guardian of Gunnar. I am a Grim, the scribe who chronicles all. You brought me here? Do you wonder why? I don't know. I'm rarely surprised like this. I didn't expect to find you here. Not at all. What happened to me? I was... I was fighting the Imperials just now. We stand in the shadow of the gate linking your world and the netherworld. This situation leads me to believe... Gungnir has approved of you as its successor and has brought you here. What? What do you mean successor? There must be a mark of succession somewhere on your body. If you have the will to fight, Gungnir and its war gods will grant you power. Power. You should be glad. This power is far too good for a mere human. I don't know if you would consider that a good thing or not, but I'm glad to have found a successor so quickly. Quickly, give me your answer. I despise waiting. If you want this power, carve your name onto the spear. I must. I must fight. What is Julio's reason for fighting? To protect those he holds dear. I need power. To protect everyone in Espada and Esperanza from the Gargan Empire. I am a warrior of Esperanza, son of the hero Ricardo. Julio Ragwell. I have the feeling I'm going to be spending quite some time with you. Don't you dare let me down. You, the successor to the Magic Spear. What just happened? What the hell just happened? That spear... It fell from the sky? The contract is made. Now, take up the magic spear Gungnir. Use its power as your own. Damn, what are you waiting for? Kill him, now! The magic spear. Wow, this is going on for a really long time. I'm sorry about that. I guess you have a little popcorn sitting to watch. Some what the what the hell am I saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to do it. I'm the only one who could save everyone. I will fight to the end of the Esperanza. It's just one peasant dog. If any of you take a nick, you'll be punished. This is a most perplexing situation. There's something unnatural about that spear. Press L while the time is moving to stop the clock temporarily. Press X while the clock is uh, stopped to scramble. This move costs tactics points, but it removes delay for your party. So... I do this. Actually, there's no point in it yet. No, I could have cut ahead of him, but whatever.
can't do it. Okay. No? No oh, shit. This is Gunnar. Curse you! Beaten by a damn drag. Bah, it's just a single spear. What difference could it possibly make? Unleash the War God, successor. You can do it. You have the right. You have the stigmata. War God? This is Gunnir. This is the War God? Now, successor, let us deal with the rest of the enemies. I will lend you my aid. This will be a great honor for you. What a bother. Then what should one lone peasant do? I can spam the crap out of Gunnir. Oh, right? Yeah, Gungnir Gung is a pretty awesome weapon. Ah, victory was in the palm of our hands. It has tons of range, and it has this like world-destroying attack that hits everyone on the battlefield. Really, really powerful. I guess while I'm at it, I might as well kill everyone else. <laughs> no point in not doing it. Slaughter the Empire. Oh, she guarded. Wow, that was unexpected. Oh, I thought that said Medicine Hero for a second. It's such a huge advantage. Ow. Oh. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, they're just taking all the flags now. It's okay. I don't need them.
<sighs> that tree was in the palm of our hands. Dead. And now for the finishing move. Hey, does it only work on allies? Um. No, I wanted to see it happen. Curse you, Drag. You'll never get away with this. <sighs> I won? <laughs> oh, yeah, Gungnir's about to nuke the town while you're asleep. I guess. Apollo, hurry. I know, I know. I know, I know, I meant to say. This is very, very bad. Ragnus, get me some fire whiskey. If you want to boil up some water, hurry. I can't believe this. How are you still alive? There's no time for that. Help him. That's what I'm doing. Don't rush me. Ugh, this is a mess. We've got to get his clothes off, Alyssa. Yes, sir. Wow, this is seriously going for over an hour. Alyssa, look. Um, this is hard to say. I need you to keep quiet about this. He's already gone through so much because of this. Julio, you're awake. I'm so glad. How are you feeling? Do you hurt anywhere? Fiona, Alyssa, what happened? You've been asleep for days and your wounds were so bad. If Paulo had been gone for one more day, it would have been too late. This is strange. My whole body's screaming, but I also feel like I'm floating. Yes, I'm starting to remember. Teresa, Claude, Noah. Where are they? Julio. I see. So. Damn. I can't believe I'm hungry at a time like this. You've been asleep for a long time. Of course you are. I'll go make something for you. Ragnus brought food from Malaga Village. Any request? Anything you make will be wonderful, Fiona. You're sweet. I'll call you when it's ready, so lay down for a bit. Oh yeah, make sure to thank Alyssa. She was the one taking care of you while you were asleep. Wow. Thank you, Alyssa. It was nothing. Because... I wish it had all been a dream. That battle. And Gungnir. It was all because of me that everyone... There's no need to blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Um, Julio? I, um... You don't have to say anything. You rushed out to protect us. That's all that matters, for now. I'm sorry. Claude, Noah, Teresa... I can't believe they're all dead. But... Even so... I'm glad you and my sister are safe. You're finally awake, Julio. You don't look very well yet. Think about what happened. But if I eat well and get rest, I'll be okay. I heard you caused quite a disturbance. All of Espana is in a frenzy right now. Hmm. Little human really look no fight. Elise, don't talk with your mouth full. Those are your customs. I'm under no obligation to follow them. That's right, Fiona. We must value different cultures. If we don't want to end up like Daltons, we must learn each other's ways. 
Can you not use that lecherous face when you say stuff like that? What do you want, old man? Does my appearance stimulate you? <laughs> Beauty like yours ought to stimulate anyone with half a brain. If I could say something? What? You guys haven't known each other nearly long enough to be that cozy. I heard the overall gist of what happened. I wonder what it was up when the Gate of Lament was sealed. But I wouldn't have imagined that the governor was coming after Alyssa. I suppose Alyssa has a bigger secret than we thought. Did she say anything while we were away? No, nothing. At least, not to me. Oh well. At this rate, I'm sure things will become clearer given time. One more thing. I heard you use some strange magic to defeat Pierre all by yourself. It's not magic, it's a war god, get it right. And what is a war god? An ancient warrior summoned at the behest of Gunyir's successor. Elise, we don't know what that means, can you explain it a little better? How else can I put it? Let me ask a different question then. Can we summon these war gods too? Gunyir and the war gods can only grant their power to the chosen one. Even if you could summon one, you'd be destroyed instantly. So what you're saying is that only Julio can use Gungnir? That's what I said. Gungnir's power is already far beyond the limits of human capability. It is difficult for even the successor to wield it. That's great, but it doesn't help me figure out what to do. Well, Julio, you must learn to wield this, uh, this spear as quickly as possible. This new power of yours may be exactly what we need. Knowing what the key to, to winning this battle lies with you. With me. After you spanked him so soundly, Pierre formed an army at the gate. They called it a sanctioning, but soon they'll begin a bloodbath. A tragedy even worse than the Espada Massacre. No. If you already know, then... Of course, we're not going to stand here and watch it happen. This is a favorable opportunity. The only thing on Pierre's mind right now is destroying Espada. He may be the governor. But Pierre only achieved his rank in the military due to his noble birth. I doubt he has any idea of what to do if we were to rise up against him. This did come a bit sooner than expected, but that's alright. We will strike the blow our father couldn't, fifteen years ago. Our father's will. Pierre is not our target. We will slay the Emperor of Gargania, Wolfgang III. The throne of this nation will drip with its master's lifeblood. Yes. Now, let us continue our revolution. Julio Ragwell. You, the chosen of the magic spear, Gunir, bearer of the mark of Stigmata, I acknowledge your courageous energy. I grant you the power of my rebellion. God of Defiance, Einherjar, a dark night without peer in all the heavens, his crimson scythe scours the battlefield. New War God. So Julio's a summoner. Noah, Claude, and Teresa were killed. Ragnus, Paulo, and Elise joined. Volunteers have gathered at the camp. You'll accept me as a comrade? And I'll take these ones. Barnaby. Until we crush the Empire. I'm tired of just sitting around. And if I go to the guild, you can you can purchase them. And I'm not sure if you can name them, I don't remember. But anyway. Wow, this went on for over an hour. <laughs> if you're still here, seriously, big thanks and claps for you. So sorry about going for so long, but uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you, and see you next time. Goodbye.